Welcome back to another edition of Follow the Money. My name is Joshua Bellinger, and I have a new opportunity that just hit the tape, and I want to share it with you. Take a look here at Wi-Fi. Now, the uh, chart here uh, really hasn't done much over the last 52 weeks. It's very choppy back and forth. Tech has been leading the way, but this name has been lackluster. It's a 5G play here, but one of the things that stuck out today was this big buyer here in the options where they came in in 10,000 contracts. One buyer, just like that, came in and placed a $2.5 million bet. Now, I have a different system, but I'll show you the time and sales here on Thinkorswim. They bought this at 255 when the market was at 210 by 270. Now, the other thing that stands out here is that not only they put up a lot of money, which was 46 times the normal activity in the market here. You could see uh, this very rarely trades. We have 22,000 calls here, 620 puts. Calls dominated today. That's because that big buyer. But here, what we're looking at is the next 64 days, this position needs to pan out. The other interesting thing is that they didn't come out of the money. They went in the money. In the money here, they bought a 72 Delta. Now, this has a notional value. They paid $2.5 million in premium, but this has a notional value, a value of controlling about $8.2 million of stock here. So it's a very interesting trade-off. That's how to use leverage here. And what they're looking for is that this has, less, this has more intrinsic value and less extrinsic. So on this, they're looking for more of it to mimic a stock movement. Now, one of the things that this could have been is a stock replacement, but didn't really see any shares trade with this. So this is some institution taking a very directional bet. Again, this has 64 days to pan out. They paid $2.55 per contract, and they only make money if this goes higher. So keep an eye on this one, and we'll talk to you soon.